Brothers and sisters, welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. We offer this Holy Rosary for the continued recovery of our country and the world from crisis brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, for those who lost their jobs and those who struggle in their livelihood, for good governance in our country and in the world, for peace in the world, where war and violence exist, for the sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, that God may give them strength and full recovery, and for the eternal repose of our dearly departed, especially those who died from COVID-19, and may God console their grieving families. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries 
The first mystery is the agony of Jesus in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging of Jesus at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and the death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain, and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for the thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors, for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed, 
for the healing of our online and in-person parishioners and their caregivers. For those who are unable to go to church physically for various reasons and for all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration. Today is Friday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presiders, Reverend Father Jason Laguerta, please all stand. <laughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. On this first Friday of the month of December, we honor, worship, and adore the most sacred heart of Jesus. We beg for his mercy and compassion as we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us mercy, the boundless treasures of your love, grant, we pray, that in paying him the homage of our devotion, we may also offer worthy reparation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In a vision, I, Daniel, saw during the night the four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with eagle's wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground 
to stand on two feet like a man and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard. On its back were four wings, like those of a bird, and it had four heads. To this beast, dominion was given. After this, the visions of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left, it trampled with its feet. I was considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst, and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man and a mouth that spoke arrogantly. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A certain stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were open. I watched, then from the first of the arrogant words, which the horn spoke, until the beast was slain, and its body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which also lost their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life for a time and a season. As the vision during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Every growing from the earth bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You springs bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you birds of the air bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you beasts, wild and tame, 
Bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please all stand. erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Pakibati din ng good morning ang ating kabi with ang um, katabi and with a smile on our faces. Because it's December 1. Pasko na po. To our online parishioners, thank you for being with us this morning and your intentions are with us also in this Mass. And again, let me repeat my explanation for several days already as we are about to end the liturgical season, specifically tomorrow, and as we begin the new liturgical cycle with the first Sunday of Advent, our readings practically are referring to endings. First reading this whole week is taken from the book of Daniel and of course our gospel reading is taken from the 21st chapter of Saint Luke. Daniel of course is talking about some apocalyptic visions in the same manner that Luke 21 is referring to Luke conversion of these apocalyptic scenarios. The end is near. That's the summary of it all. Time will come when all these things will come to an end. In the vision of Daniel, he was talking to the king of King Nebuchadnezzar, a Gentile king. And his vision, as he will explain later to the king, he is warning the king that your reign is about to end. These four beasts that came out of the sea, yes, they referred to the superpowers at the time, including you. But time will come when the Ancient One and the Son of Man will have power and dominion over everything. It was some sort of a warning of Daniel to Nebuchadnezzar. O king, you're powerful now, but your power will also have an end. No matter how strong you are, like an iron, someone will defeat you in the end. 
Also in the gospel from St. Luke, the same vision is given to the people, to the disciples. Time will come when everything will pass away. And even before this gospel reading this morning, we heard about the coming tribulations, famines, wars, insurrections. So St. Luke is painting a scenario of chaos. But not to worry, because the apocalyptic tradition is not about making people afraid of the end. That is why in the parable of Jesus of the fig tree, know that when the buds are bursting forward, when the buds are opening, then it means that summer has arrived. Meaning, yes, there is an end to everything, but it's not despair and hopelessness that is at the end. At the end of, at the end of it all, it's hope. There is a power that overcomes everything and is a benevolent, gentle power. And heaven and earth may pass away, but my words will not. So the liturgical season is ending, but endings are not always bad. Although we feel bad about things ending in our lives, it's painful when something comes to an end. It could be a regime, a power, a relationship, a state of affairs, or life. Pagka may nagtatapos, natatakot tayo. And also, when something ends, we become sad because something is passing away. Maging showbiz lang tayong konti, kahapon nalungkot talaga ako, di ba? Chapter closed. Oh, updated si Leo. <laughs> Sabi ni Catherine Bernardo, chapter closed. Updated ba kayo? And it's painful when something ends. No? A, re a beautiful relationship of 11 years. Showbiz na showbiz si Father. No? But really... As we are about to end the liturgical season, endings are not always bad because there is a bud that bursts open for us. And that is what is given to us. That's what I will try to develop in our Advent recollection, whispering hope, welcoming light. That in the, in the sea of the beasts and chaos and darkness around us, the Son of Man will come on a cloud, bearing the good news, gifting us with hope. So in this Mass, as we end the year with this first Friday devotion to the Sacred Heart, in the end, it is the heart of Jesus that will triumph. It is the heart of Jesus and Mary that shall triumph. So we pray as we end our liturgical calendar, we come to the heart of Jesus. He is the King, the King that shall reign over and above us all. But His kingship is one of love, of mercy, of compassion. Do not be afraid of endings in your lives. Kung may magtatapos man, hindi yan para tayo ay sirain o para tayo alisin o alisan ng pag-asa. Endings come for a reason, always for a purpose. And if you, want, if you are able to understand the wisdom of God, endings, chapters closing, doors closing in our lives, it only means that a new one, a bud, is bursting forth in our life. So let's anticipate that. In the many closings in our lives, let us also anticipate with hope the new things that will arrive. Do not be afraid. Let us not be afraid. That's the message of the apocalyptic tradition in the scriptures, both in the Old and New Testament. It's not despair. It's always hope that is given.
to us. Dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As we kneel before the Lord, we open our heart to Jesus in faith and in trust. That in the endings that we experience, the Lord is promising a new chapter, a new hope. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And let us also now lift up to the Lord our personal prayers and petitions as we pray for the intentions of our Mass. We pray for the healing of all the afflicted with pain and suffering due to diseases and sickness. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. are all children of the loving Father. He is the word that will never pass away. We pray together. us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not, Lord, on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, 
Behold him, the word that will never pass away. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Teach our hearts to love like yours. Love of God most by your side save us all from death and sin our King crucified crowned with thorns and sorrow you give us new San Padre Pio, after Holy Communion, stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. 
Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late, and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. We pray also for the family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In a moment of silence, we pray for the intentions and needs of our family. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once again for coming to our Eucharistic celebration, to our online parishioners. Thank you for praying with us. And I noticed that we have some members of the clergy with us. Father, sorry, I did not notice you. You could have concelebrated with me, but let us acknowledge our uh, fathers, members of the clergy who are here also. I believe you are having a conference po and staying here in Pius. Or, yeah, so welcome po to our humble parish, Santa Maria Goretti. Uh, you are all invited 
for a Mass this afternoon, 3 p.m., for our Divine Mercy devotion. Uh, if you want to come back at 3 o'clock. And our recollection this December 9, after our 5 p.m. Mass, an Advent recollection, whispering hope, welcoming light. And on December 8, well, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, we will have three Masses at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and 12.15 p.m. And on December 5, may I invite you also, we have two Masses, 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Yun naman po ay birthday ng Hindi Immaculate Conception. <laughs> uh, that would be my birthday, so we would like to invite you this, uh, December 5, 7 a.m. or 5 p.m. Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will have a short Eucharistic adoration and procession. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. O praise and O thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine. O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine. O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Divine Jesus, you said, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your Sacred Heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. 
you have only to will it and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting my prayer. O oh, sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled by me and your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you, the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother. You have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Amen. Sanguinis, tu i sacra misteria venerari, o tridimensionis tu i fructum, in nobis iuditer sanciamus, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. The divine praises, blessed be God. 
Blessed be Blessed God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God. Blessed and be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary Blessed Most be her Holy. holy immaculate conception Blessed be her holy and immaculate Blessed conception Blessed be her glorious assumption Blessed be her glorious assumption Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints amen Oh, son.